What is going on everybody? Welcome back to this episode of Home Built Workshop. Today we're going to build this little shop stool using a piece of slab and a bunch of pipe fittings. Check it out. I find that there's several times when I'm working on a project that it would be really nice to have kind of just a small stool just to sit down. If I'm working on a guitar setup, doing fret work or something like that, always being bent over the bench kind of starts to hurt the back after a while. So I decided that I'm going to use this off cut of white oak to make a small stool. Now this thing already has a bit of a cup in it. The other side is of course bowed the other way so first thing I need to do is get this bottom side flattened out. So to flatten it out I'm just going to use this sled that I made up a while back for use in my planer. I'll just put the piece of slab on there up against this little backstop and you can see that it's got a good bit of rock to it. I'm going to use some shims and some hot glue to shim the piece so it doesn't rock. And now it's nice and solid. This piece is just a little bit too wide to send through my planer, so I'm going to use a combination of a hand plane and my drum sander to flatten this one side. Another way to flatten this thing would be to use a router jig to pass your router across the piece. I have a jig, but again, this piece is also a little bit too tall to use with the jig that I have. Once it's off the drum sander, everything is nice and flat. So now I have my piece of slab all nice and flat. There's a small crack right here that I want to address before I move any further. Now I probably could just smear some epoxy in there and be okay, but I want to make sure that this crack does not get any larger and possibly affect the strength of this stool. Because knowing me, if I don't fix this, I'm going to sit on this stool, it's going to snap in half, I'm going to fall and hit my head. I don't want that. I'm going to fix this crack by cutting out a bow tie out of some contrasting wood. Now I've done several test pieces already so I feel pretty confident that this is going to go okay. I did one completely by hand using a chisel and the method I'm going to use which is going to be using the router to remove most of the material. That one went a little bit better. Let's do this. I'll begin the process by attaching the bow tie to my piece of wood using just a little bit of CA glue and activator. This will hold it in place really well so that I can score around the outside using a really sharp X-Acto knife. I'm going to make a couple passes around the outside with the X-Acto. Then I'll remove the bow tie. I like to fill in that cut line with a pencil. That way it's easier to see. All right, don't screw this up, dude. In my router, I'm using a spiral up cutting bit. This will help give me a nice clean surface and hopefully avoid chip out. Now we'll just apply some wood glue and glue this bad boy in place. I'll just hit the top lightly with a block plane to take off some of that extra height.
And that turned out really good. And to make it a little bit more comfortable when you're sitting on it, I'll use a rasp and round over the front and back edges. This so you don't get scraped up when you hop on. For the finish, I'm just gonna use some regular old Danish oil. Since this is oak, it is kind of porous, so I think Danish oil will be able to get down into those pores and help seal up this wood. One of the things I really like about Danish oil is really you can just dump it on there, wipe it around, make sure you get it all in. You normally don't have to worry about brush strokes or getting everything on nice and even. You just wipe it on and it just works. Now I've always liked projects that incorporate black iron pipe. I think it's kind of a cool industrial kind of look. So that's what I'm gonna do for the legs. I have a whole bunch of parts in pieces here that we're gonna assemble and make up our legs. It's a lot of packages to open. As I'm putting this together, you can see how the legs are gonna work, but one small oversight on my part. I was gonna use these pieces to connect right here to give this thing some support side to side. I can't screw that in because once it's all screwed together, you can't, you can't adjust it. They're, they're not like a turnbuckle. So, gotta go back to the store, get some unions. Aha, that's better. Well, there it is. Something looks weird with the legs. It's a little bit too narrow. Not quite what I envisioned. So, let me fix that real quick. There we go. That's a little bit better. Added a couple of elbows to flare these legs out just a little bit. It was just too narrow before and I'd be afraid that I would fall over. This will help with stability a little bit. Now I'm gonna pull the top back off of the base and I'll give the base a nice coat of matte clear just to seal it all up and protect it. As soon as that clear coat's dry, I'll just reattach the top and now this stool is ready to go. I've always liked the look of this black iron pipe when it's used in projects and stuff and I think this is kind of cool. And just because I want to be completely honest with you guys, using pipe fittings like this may not be the most economical method for building legs because every little one of these pieces does add up pretty quick. But if there's a look that you're going for, definitely don't hold back on using a uh, material like this because it does look kind of cool. But just keep that in mind that all these little parts do add up pretty quick and I did not really factor that much into it. So just want to throw that out there as something to consider if you're thinking of using pipe fittings like this uh, to build a project. Now one thing that I'm really 100% satisfied with is how this butterfly came out. It ended up fitting really good, looks really nice in there, especially with some finish on there, and happy with that.
we kind of got all kinds of stuff going on with this little piece of slab. We got some figure right here. We've got Live Edge. We've got the butterfly. I really like it. It's kind of a mix up. I got some raw saw marks up here. Really like this little piece. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of this project. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I like the height. It's going to be comfortable. If I'm need working on something at the bench, it's not going to be too high. It's not too low. It feels solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to come apart, fall apart, or anything like that. I definitely really am looking forward to using it out here. It's going to be pretty handy to have around. If you enjoyed this video and this project, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Down below, you'll find links to all my social media, as well as links to my website, homebuiltworkshop.com, where you can pick up some t-shirts, some stickers, and you'll find a little bit more information about some of the projects. I do a small, short write-up over there on each of the projects, as well as also post the videos over there. So head on over there, check it out, homebuiltworkshop.com. Com. And announcing too, I'm now on Patreon. I've decided to go ahead and join that and just kind of getting things rolling on there. So if you are interested in becoming a patron over on Patreon, head on over there. There's a link down below in the description for that as well. I would definitely appreciate the support. And if you're interested, just go check it out. So thanks a lot for tuning in, everybody. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for the support. And until next time, you guys take care. We'll see you later. And that's not gonna work because I need another piece. Never mind. Sirens. I'd say that with all of these pieces and pipes, I guess if all I missed was one union and maybe a couple short pieces of pipe, that's not so bad, I don't think.